the fourth basic lesson in Tinkercad is to learn how to rotate shapes. So if you look at the directions on the left, it tells us we're going to rotate shapes on our work plane. So we're going to click over to continue and it says to rotate or spin each of the box shapes matching the hint. So you can see our hint in orange here is telling us how we need to shift this shape. So we select the box by left clicking on the shape and then it gives us all these little handles to show us what we can do to that shape. Um, we can zoom in by clicking on this fit view here so we can see just the specific shape we want to see and it's a little too close so I'm going to zoom out using my scroll wheel here. And now since I want to rotate my shape in this direction, if I look at my different arrows here, I can see this arrow is going to actually rotate it left to right. So if I click on it and type in my box here, I want to shift it exactly 45 degrees. So I can type in 45 degrees and it shifts it perfectly. Or if I want to, I can click on my shape itself and drag it to that um, rotation. The other thing is if you move outward on your rotation circle here, you can make smaller adjustments. You can see that the line um, is highlighting red as I'm making my one increment adjustments. If I move into the middle here, it jumps and does larger increments. So there are two different ways that you can do your movements. Now that I've finished changing that one, I'm going to click over to my other shape here on the right and center around that one. Um, if I zoom out, you can see that it thinks that I'm done, but I haven't actually finished yet. So I need to go back a step here so I can see what else I need to rotate. So this one I need to rotate um, on this axis, on its Y axis here. So we're going to rotate it around to the right this way. And I can either drag it 45 degrees if I can get it exact, or I can type in um, 45 which is a little bit more accurate. So I'm going to do it that way. And then for our last shape over here, we need to rotate it towards us. So if you see this one rotated left and right this direction, this one rotated um, left and right uh, vertically, and now we want to turn it towards us. So that's going to be this rotation. We're going to type in 45 just to make it perfect. And now you can see that all of our shapes are aligned with their hint boxes. And now we actually are done.